stretched already from my previous hairstyle when I just did my straight back so right now I have it in some twists and I'm about to just brush them out and pre-part my hair and then just start I'm gonna be using free trust braiding hair 68 inches long. I got two packs, so I'm not 100 percent sure how much I'm gonna need. But my hair is already pre-parted as far as rows. So I have five rows in total. And my first set of braids is going to be three in the back. Then I'm going to be using the neat braiding conditioning. And before I use the braiding hair, I just brush it out real quick. Just to make sure all the straight hairs are out and reduce the, the chances of getting a lot of tangles. I actually like how smooth this hair is compared to the last hair I used. I braided down two times before I added the braiding hair and this is how it comes out way more sleek and neat and then you can see back here I just added the, bra the braiding hair in the first row and you can see how it comes out like a little more curly and less a little a lot less neat so this is definitely the preferred method I'm gonna continue this way through my whole head in the first row you can see that I did it right there too and it just looks more neat than these braids right here that I did when I added the hair in in the first braid. But these is, this is how they're looking so far. I have 10 braids in my head right now. And they're a little shorter than I want them, but that's fine. And right up to the side of my mountain.
So now I'm oiling my hair with my OK Hair Care Herbal Hair Growth Oil. If you're interested in purchasing or any, or if you have any questions about the product, you can DM me on Instagram at OK Hair Care. Placing on my head scarf, I'm tying it up real tight to let it lay. And I ended up dipping my ends straight, but I don't like it straight for the most part. So I ended up adding some curlers to the end so that they can be curly, but I don't think I showed that in this video. But this is the end of me doing my hair, and now I'm going to get straight into my skincare. Start by washing my face with the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. My face is really greasy right now, so... I'm going to wash it real quick and then I'm going to use the ordinary 30% um, peeling solution. Like, I used to have oily skin or like combination. Like, I had normal skin right here and oily skin right here. Now I got dry skin right here and normal skin everywhere else. It's like, can we be just a little bit for real? Okay, it turns out I had enough to do like a whole section. And I don't put it under my eyes because like last time I put it under my eyes, I feel like it made my under eyes really dark. And I, I guess you wasn't supposed to put it there because like the skin right there is so sensitive and thin. So don't put it directly under your, your under eyes. So now I'm about to set my timer for eight minutes, eight, and, eight minutes, 30 seconds. I haven't done it in a while plus I feel like my skin needs to really get up off that like I need the dead skin to come off uh, for real so eight minutes <laughs> So I just finished getting ready. I put my hair in this little um style. I'm wearing my Illus label sweater with some gray sweatpants and my crop. Guys, so luckily for me, the nail salon is literally three minutes away. It's 6 30 right now. They close at 8. So I have enough time to make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the part that I've been waiting for for this whole video, getting rid of my body hair, it was so embarrassing having this whole video play with my underarm hair there. But we're finally removing it using Nair hair removal cream. I usually use Nair or V, but I'm definitely going to start getting waxes now because I got my first wax like two weeks ago and it, the hair grows back a lot slower. So that's what I'm going to opt for now. So this is probably my last hair removal cream episode. Okay, so now I'm at my nail appointment and I didn't fully have my idea put together of what I exactly wanted. I know I wanted a different design on each nail. I know I wanted bright colors and it came out actually kind of eastery, like the base colors. And I wanted to try this 3D nail art that I saw online on TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. I want to try that. But I also want to try so many different designs at one time. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just get a whole bunch of different designs on each finger. And I was just telling her how I want each design to look on each finger. But these are the final results. I love them so much. They look so pretty. I felt so pretty with my nails and my toes done. Everything was bright and colorful the way I love it. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me your favorite part about this video, about this maintenance vlog. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And look at this thumb detail, like get into that. That was my favorite finger, 100%. But this, the right hand was my favorite hand. And um, on my other hand, it was the last two fingers, my thumb and my pointer finger. But bye. Until